This young brown pelican fell from the sky in Orange County, another sign of the toxic algae bloom sickening marine life here in Southern California. The bird was taken to the wetlands and wildlife care center where staff says it was suffering from domoic acid poisoning. This poor guy was found on the sand yesterday in Newport Beach. Aww. Animal control officers came out to find the brown pelican also suffering from demonic acid poisoning. The bird was taken to the wetlands and wildlife care center for treatment. Authorities say so far more than 100 dolphins and more than 200 sea lions have been killed by demoic acid this spring alone. It's a neurotoxin produced by naturally occurring algae. We are joined live now by Dave Bader, the Chief Operations and Education Officer for the Marine Mammal Care Center in San Pedro with a closer look at what's happening. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you for having me. Can you talk a little bit about, I mean, you see these pictures with these animals struggling, what this toxin does to these animals and what environmental factors could be contributing to these algae blooms that we've been seeing? Yeah, demoic acid is a neurotoxin. It affects um, obviously nerves, um, brain function, some organ function as well. Um, it causes things like seizures. You saw that uh, pelican kind of weaving its head. So, you know, repetitive behaviors like that. We see that in sea lions as well. Uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, it uh, can also cause um, death. This particular bloom has been particularly lethal for uh, local marine life, um, seabirds, dolphins, and uh, sea lions have been impacted. It's been going on about 10 weeks right now. Um, we believe that, uh, you know, ocean conditions are changing because of climate change, ocean acidification, uh, nutrification of our coastal ocean. We're shifting the ocean's um, chemistry and it's uh, favoring these formations of these kinds of blooms. What contributes to it? Is there anything from our recent wildfires and some of the debris that's ended up in the water that's contributing to this as well? So the, the major driving factors of this, again, are, are climate change, ocean acidification, but also nutrification. Um, so runoff, uh, any kind of runoff is okay. going to contribute to these blooms. The fires certainly had, you know, maybe some nutrients, excess nutrients coming in from, you know, the the possibly the um, fire retardants might have had some of that. Uh, all runoff, though, contributes nutrients to the ocean. Um, and this is actually year four of, mm. of a massive bloom just like this. Um, so the fires might have contributed a little bit, uh, but the major driving factors are, are beyond just that one event. So this is something we really need to be paying attention to if we've entered the fourth year now. I see um, you know, some of your workers here trying to care for these animals. Uh, can you just talk about what type of impact this has, you know, even on your center? Yeah, well, on the center, we budget uh, in, an, in a year for 300 patients over the course of a year. Um, we're just now in April, and we've already seen over 300 patients. Wow. So uh, impacts on us are certainly financial. Um, we have overspent our budgets for medicine and food for caring for these animals. Um, but we've, we've also received wonderful support from our public um, to, to help with this. Um, you know, the impact is beyond uh, the impact on these animals, although that's, of course, the most important part. But our staff have really been working on this for over now 10 weeks, um, you know, with so many animals stranding on the beach. It's it's taxing on a personal level as well as an emotional level um, for, for all of these patients that we're seeing right now. Oh, I can only imagine. I mean, they're just so helpless and, and, and so in need of help. Uh, it, we really appreciate the work everybody is doing, but I, I have to imagine it takes an emotional toll. Um, can you talk about some of the risks to humans through seafood consumption? Are there things we should be worried about here? Yeah, the first thing for everybody to know is, is you know, commercially purchased seafood from restaurants or supermarkets, that's going to be safe to eat. Um, it's now wild caught, mostly shellfish. Um, from Santa Barbara to San Diego County, we have shellfish closures. You can learn more about that by going to um, the Department of Health and searching for shellfish closures. Um, the, the toxin it impacts by uh, bioaccumulation. So mm. you can't get it from swimming in the water or even swallowing a little bit of seawater. Uh, you're gonna get it from a consuming shellfish that has accumulated that toxin, similarly to how the sea lions and the dolphins get it by um, eating uh, fish that have accumulated the toxin in their bodies. Okay, well, all really important information. Dave, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me.